three things that attractive women, beautiful women will say to you when they are not interested in you, when they're just not that attracted to you. These are the top three things that you will hear from an attractive girl, beautiful girl, when she's just not into you, okay? So, let's crack right into this. Now, the first thing that she will tell you if she's not interested in you is, of course, you guessed it, I have a boyfriend. How many times have you heard a girl that you like, that you wanna get with, tell you, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. And if you're one of my mastery students, you will know that automatically, 50% of the time, and I'm not even kidding, that's an actual statistic, 50% of the time, if not higher, that is a lie. She's completely lying to you. The reason why she is telling you that she has a boyfriend is because, you guessed it, she's not interested in you. She's not attracted to you. The reason why she will tell you that is because you have not demonstrated any value to her, right? Maybe you just walked up to her, tried to get her phone number, or and you're like, hey, you know, do you, you know, do you want to go out sometime? And she's like, no, I have a boyfriend, right? She'll hit you with that just to get rid of you, right? So a lot of times, a girl telling you she has a boyfriend is a time management tool, right? It's a time management tool to filter out all the suckers. Nine out of ten times, it works, right? Most guys are just complete betas, they'll just give up as soon as they hear the girl be like, oh, you have a boyfriend? Oh, okay, good luck with him. He's like a lucky guy. Then walk away. And I've said this before. Some of my hottest girlfriends that I've ever had before, when I initially approached them, told me they had a boyfriend. Tried to get rid of me with a, I have a boyfriend. Okay? Half the time they were telling the truth, the other half of the time they weren't. Okay? But because I pushed forward and I didn't just give up, they became attracted to me, right? I've taught this lesson before in mastery. I've also taught it uh, on my uh, 33 Secrets channel that uh, automatically when a girl says, hey, I have a boyfriend, your auto response, okay? I want you to put this in your head. Your auto response should be, oh, awesome. Does he let you have guy friends? Right? That will put the girl on the spot right then there because you're like, she'll just be blown away that you didn't just walk like most chumps. She'll be blown away that you plowed, you pushed forward. And many times you'll be able to kind of tell right then and there if she's lying or not because she'll be stumped. Like if, if she's lying, she'll sit there and be like, you know, she'll almost freeze for a second. Like, wow, I can't believe he's asking me this. Like, oh, does he let you have guy friends? She'll just kind of like, um, yeah, I guess so. Right? And you're like, okay, I'll just be your guy friend. I mean, really, the key is not to become her actual guy friend and be in her friend zone. It's to place yourself in her life so you, so that you can continue working game on her, right? That's the point of going, hey, you know, does he let you have guy friends? Because you're not going to get into her life any other way, right? So when she says, I have a boyfriend, you say, cool, does he let you have guy friends? Oh, perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be one of your guy friends. And a lot of times a girl, too... This is how you, you'll know you're in. When she goes, okay, so you're totally okay with being my guy friend. And like, yeah, girl, that's fine. Let's be friends, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, right? We get to know each other and hang out and, you know, no pressure. And because you come at, at it from that angle, as opposed to just trying to get in her panties, you will build that trust with her. I've slept with these girls the fastest because they're not feeling that uh, that you know, typical agenda that most guys give off, like where they're like super pushy and super needy and just blowing up the girl's phone, texting her day and night, trying to like get her, you know, get her out on dates and whatnot. I mean, when you come in from this friendship angle and you're the one who's, you know, for the most part leading that, leading your relationship in that direction, she will just play along, even though she knows like deep down, like, oh, I kind of like this guy, I might end up sleeping with him. So that is the number, that is the first thing that a girl will tell you when she's not interested in you initially, is that she has a boyfriend. Like I said, that's easily overcome, okay? It is easily overcome. And if she does have a boyfriend, by the way, you could say the same thing. Hey, does he let you have guy friends? A lot of times she'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Believe it or not, many of these girls will be like, give out their number right then there. Like, yeah, sure, right? Just because girls are hypergamous, I hate to say it. She might think you're a higher value male, her, her man at home probably a chump, right? I hate to say it, man. A lot of these guys are. 
right? And these relationships don't work out anyway. So I'm not trying to mow anybody else's lawn here, right? I'm just saying that most of those relationships don't work out. And if they are working out, she would have a ring on her finger, right? They would be married. I don't, I don't do this to married women and married women are the easiest to pick up. I don't try to pick up married women. I just don't, right? I don't, I'm just like, I see the ring and I'm like, oh, good luck, right? Even if they're engaged, I'm like, oh yeah, good luck. You know, but if there's no ring on her finger, pfft, yeah, hey, sorry, it's open season. What do you want me to tell you? It's open season. If you want to lock down your girl and you think that she's the one and you guys are like, like this, then, hey, <laughs> you know, why is she out by herself? Why is she in this venue? Why is she in this bar? Right? So uh, that's the first thing a girl will tell you is that she has a boyfriend if she's not interested in you. But for the bazillion time that is easily overcome. That's like the easiest objection to overcome. Even when you reach like an intermediate level of game and pickup artistry, that's the easiest because it's just, you hear it so often. So many girls, ah, I have a boyfriend. It's like an auto response. Here comes a guy. I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. And they're just so used to guys like, okay, okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. He's a lucky guy. He's a lucky guy. You know, whereas, when you know me or my students come along or you come along now that you've learned this like hey does he let you have guy friends oh yeah <laughs> that's fine sure you know and the rare times the rare times the girl's like tries to hit you with like no he doesn't allow that he doesn't let me have guy friends like what are you in seventh grade that's when you start shaming her a little bit like no like seriously are you in seventh grade what are we, children? You know, what are you guys, kids? I, I mean, because in most normal, healthy adult relationships, you have friends. Are you saying it's just like you guys are in this codependent relationship together? You're kind of like trapped in the same bubble together? You know, and I always make the girl think about that. And the times where the girl was, was telling the truth that she, was, she did have a man, but they didn't allow like outsiders. She thought about it and she was like, yeah, I, I get there's nothing wrong with that, you know? <laughs> She's like, okay, here's my number. So that's the first sign. Uh, moving on, the second thing that a woman will say to you when she's not interested in you, and I know you heard this before, because I have, uh, the second thing she will say to you is, I'm taking a break from dating. How many times have you heard a girl say that? I'm taking a break from dating. Like, if you even try to go there on her, if you're like, Oh yeah, girl. So I'm single right now. Me and my girl just broke up. Like before you could even say anything, she's like, Oh, I'm taking a break from dating. It's like, I didn't ask you that. You know, why are you talking about that? You know, it's cause she's trying to cut you off before you even get started. Right. I'm taking a break from dating. I don't have time for you. Right. Yeah. Bullshit. She's taking a date from dating. Right. If you put like a young Brad Pitt in front of her, or uh, you know, a young, handsome male model in front of her that she's totally into, do you think she's gonna tell that guy she's taking a break from dating? No, she'll be like, I'm completely available for you, right? She's not gonna tell him she's, she's oh, I'm taking a break here. No, but she tells you that because she's trying to communicate that she's not interested. And even then, even then that can be turned around because I've had girls that I ended up dating, that I ended up dumping. Like literally I had to get rid of them. They kept hanging around. Initially, when I met these girls, they were like, oh, taking a break from dating. Sorry, I'm not dating anyone. But because I pushed forward, because I plowed, they changed their mind, right? When they said, I'm taking a break from dating, I was like, was I asking you, right? I called them out, right? I started nagging. I started doing a little game, thing called game, a little thing called pickup. I was like, I wasn't asking you that, girl. Get over yourself. Man, talk about a narcissist, right? I would call her out on that. And then she's like laughing like, oh, I didn't mean it like that. I was like, no, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm like, anyway, I like women who are younger, women who are thinner, women who are hotter. And then I kind of make the girl a little insecure about it. And then she starts thinking like, oh, you think you're better than me, huh? I'm like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I can get better than you. Big difference, right? Big difference. And I make her think about it. When enough time has passed and enough time of me not trying to chase her down, eventually the girl will turn around and be like, actually, this guy is starting to grow on me. I'm starting to like him, right? Next thing you know, here you are, you're in bed with her, she's dating you. 
you know, she becomes your next girl and now you're losing interest in her. How funny is that, right? Oh, how the mighty fall. <laughs> and all of a sudden the tables turn and you're like, yeah, I don't want I'm not feeling this anymore, girl. I don't know. I'm not feeling this anymore. I think we need to do our own thing. And then she's like begging you to stay like, oh no, no, we can make this work. And then you think back to how it started and you're like, wow, how funny is that? She was trying to tell me she wasn't interested in the beginning. She was trying to tell me she had a boyfriend. All right, moving on. The third and final thing that a woman who is not interested in you will tell you is, and this is the suckiest one, I hate to say it, but she will tell you, I don't want to ruin our friendship, right? How many times have you heard a girl that you've like stayed in her friend zone, listened to all her crap about all the jerks who are hurting her, flaking on her, using and abusing her, having sex with her and then ghosting her. Like she's finally available for you. And then you make your move and then she hits you with that. I don't want to ruin our friendship. AKA I'm not interested in you. In other words, I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm not going to be taking off my clothes for you and you're never going to see me naked. <laughs> right? And unfortunately in these situations, they are much more difficult to turn around and build attraction from. And the best thing to do in these situations, what I tell guys is you need to go away for a while. Right? You just need to disappear for a while. Just get out of her life and come back as a completely different person. Right? And after enough time has passed, you can come back as that high value alpha male that she will want to have sex with and will want to take her clothes off for. Also, when she tells you, I don't want to ruin our friendship, what she really is saying is she wants to keep you there almost like a prisoner. So unless you want to be used as her emotional tampon or a shoulder to cry on, it's just best to get out of there. Right? Cut your losses short and then come back as a new man several months later, even a few years later, if you want to, you know, wait around for this chick, but I don't know why you would, right? So those are my top three things that women say when they're not interested in you. Till next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. And also hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? Make sure YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you either. But if you're not subscribed, you're going to be missing out on all of my fresh uploads that I upload to YouTube. And, you know, a lot of times YouTube has been removing the video that I upload and they're always my most popular ones. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a single upload. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill content that I'm teaching guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, you guessed it, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to get your ass out there and start approaching and closing the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the cream of the crop, the most highest caliber women out there that are not feminists, that are not damaged goods, that are not single mothers, but the high value, high quality women out there that you can bring into your life. And trust me, these are women that myself and my students are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, every single week, okay? And right now, it's only a buck to jump into seven months of mastery. It's only $1, right? It's the, it's the deal of a lifetime. You can get an entire month worth of coaching lessons from me, all for just one buck. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.